Hello, and welcome to another episode of CTEC's Tips and Tricks. Today's episode builds upon the last tip, which was arrays of slices. We're starting off with the application that we ended up with at that trip. And we're going to show some cool additional things that can be done with this application. We're going to start by talking about a brand new module. And that module is called Adjust Transparency. It's uh, down here in the middle of the display library. And I'm going to instance it and talk a little bit about it. Notice when the user interface comes up that this module has an equation in it. And that equation determines the level of the transparency of the objects that pass through this module um, based on the data min and data max. So I'm going to disconnect our X grid. Notice that removed those vertical slices. And for now, I'm going to also disconnect the Y grid that we used from the last module. And I'm going to connect one of these. Uh, let's do the Y grid. I'm going to connect it to adjust transparency. Now, the data component that was passed through is total hydrocarbons. And what this equation is doing is it's saying that we're going to have the transparency range from 3 quarters down to 0 based on the min and the max values of our data. Now, when we connect this up, I'm just going to rearrange our application a bit here. You notice that we have the same slice as we had before. You can sort of see them on edge. But they're sort of ghost transparencies, where the data values are at the minimum, the transparency dropped to zero, and those surfaces disappear completely. Now, this effect, for those of you that have played around with a lot of the modules in EVS and MVS, this effect looks very much like volume rendering. However, volume rendering, both the back to front and um, the software volume rendering, are limited to uniform fields. Uniform fields are grids where all the cells are exactly the same size in X, Y, and Z. They're all cubes or rectangular parallel pipettes. Here we have a model that has multiple geologic layers. It has a convex hull grid. So it's very much not a rectilinear grid. It is an unstructured or complete finite element grid. Um, and yet we can still get this volume rendering effect. So we're going to enhance this a little bit by adjusting the uh, parameters of our slice. So instead of slicing every 50 feet for this model, I'm going to change this to 20 feet. And I'm going to close the Y. And it should take a second. And notice now that we've got a lot more slices. And we're starting to get really this nice volume rendering effect that we're used to seeing only for these uniform fields. I'm going to do the same thing for X, change it to 20. Of course, we haven't hooked up X yet. And adjust transparency only has a single blue-black input. So if I want to act on both of these with the same module, I can do so by using yet another module. And this additional module, in fact, this entire application, relies on uh, modules that are only available in MVS. And the other module that we're looking for is called Merge Fields. And here it is under Tools. Merge Fields will take multiple independent fields or blue-black input ports, put them all together into a single one, provided they have the same data. In this case, all the data we're passing through is, is our concentration data. So we're going to get a merge field. Again, I'm going to make a little more room in our application so things aren't so crowded. And I'm going to connect both the X grid and the Y grid to the two merge fields. And I'm going to tell it to run. Hit the Accept button. You need to do that the first time. And now I'm going to connect both of these to adjust transparency. And now look, you can see that we have both grids on a 20 foot spacing, giving us our transparency. And in fact, because I played with this already, I'm going to go in and change our vertical exaggeration back to our kind of normal five. 
whole module is going to have to rerun here. And the other thing I'm going to add is going to seem a little strange, but I'm going to add the external faces of the whole model. Oh, you know, I want to make sure that later on, if I explode, that the axes act properly. Um, if I add the external faces directly to the viewer, it gives us this, just the whole solid model. So that's not that interesting. But instead, if I connect external faces to merge fields, so that it then passes through a just transparency, it's going to put the external faces of all our geologic layers so then when we look straight down on the model, we still see this wonderful volume rendering effect. So now we have this effect for the vertical direction by, because of all the external faces of the, all the geologic layers. And we have it for X and Y from our arrays of slices. And the last thing to do for fun is to go ahead and explode this model so we can see the individual geologic layers. So I'm going to set that explode distance to 20. and close this module so that it reruns. Notice the external edges ran quicker than the other modules. Now the others have run. And I'm going to update axes here. So now we have each of our geologic layers with a convex hull grid, volume rendered, And we can adjust the transparency. So to make it a little bit lower, I'm going to drop the max value to 0.5 instead of 0.75. Notice it got a little more ghostly. So here we are with the end of this tips and tricks. We have an array of slices, external faces, all merged together and passed through a just transparency to give us an interesting volume rendering effect that you can apply to any of the types of grids that, that we create in EVS and MVS. Thank you very much.